At least 18 people have been killed and 175 others injured after a train derailed in Yilan County in Taiwan. The train has been was traveling between the cities of Shulin and Taitung when it derailed on a coastal line reportedly popular with tourists. The train was carrying 366 passengers when the accident occurred just before 5 p.m. local time. All eight train carriages derailed in the incident with five of them overturning. Turkish authorities have put the fiancé of a slain journalist Jamal Khashoggi under 24-hour police protection. For weeks, Saudi Arabia had denied knowledge of what happened to him, initially claiming Khashoggi left the building on Saturday. Riyadh said that he was killed in a fist fight in the consulate. Saudi foreign minister has since called his death a huge and grave mistake. Germany will not export arms to Saudi Arabia while the current uncertainty over the fate of journalist Jamal Khashoggi persists. Campaigning for a party in a regional election, PM Angela Merkel repeated to a news conference that uh, earlier her, her earlier condemnation of Khashoggi's killing. Merkel's statement comes just hours after Germany, the UK and France issued a joint statement in which they said there is an urgent need for clarification of exactly what happened to Washington Post journalists. More than 4 million people cast their ballots in Afghanistan's uh, parliamentary election amid spates of violence and logistical issues. Vote counting is uh, currently underway. The electoral body has until December 28th to release the final results. More than 2,500 candidates, including 470 women, are vying for a seat in the country's 250-member parliament. The election had to be extended by one day due to security threats by the Taliban and logistical issues that left hundreds of thousands of people unable to vote on a Saturday. Maldives Supreme Court upheld the mandate of the people and rejected Abdullah Yamin's plea to annul the results of the election in which Yamin stood defeated. The verdict ended weeks of political uncertainty in the country as Abdullah Yamin refused to let go of power. President-elect Ibrahim Soli is likely to take oath on the 11th of November, which coincides with the 50th anniversary of the Maldivian Republic. The five-judge bench unanimously ruled that Abdullah Yamin had failed to prove his claim that the September 23rd vote was rigged. A U.S.-bound caravan of thousands of Honduran migrants crossed Mexico illegally. They are shadowed by hundreds of Mexican police. The migrants have defied threats by Trump that he will close the U.S.-Mexico border if the caravan advances and warnings from the Mexican government that they risk deportation if they cannot justify seeking asylum in Mexico. U.S. President Donald Trump tweeted that full efforts are being made to stop the onslaught of illegal migrants from crossing the southern border. Heavy overnight rain swept through streets and forced hundreds of people from their homes in the southern Spanish province of Malaga, killing one firefighter in another Spanish town. Cars were borne along the streets by the water and left in direct fires after the flood subsided. Almost 400 millimeters of rain fell in 24 hours in the town of Ardalas, around 62 kilometers from the main city of Malaga. At least nine people have been killed after a landslide buried three homes in a low-income neighborhood in a, a central Colombian town. The landslide was caused by heavy rains. Five children are among those who are dead. Landslides are common in Colombia's uh, mountainous regions, especially during the rainy season and in areas where informal homes are built next to deforested land. Two workers have been saved following a rock burst at a coal mine in China's Yuncheng County. The accident killed two miners and trapped 18 others. The, the burst happened at around 11 p.m. local time and destroyed part of a water drainage tunnel in the coal mine. A total of 334 people were working underground at the time. 
Rescue work started immediately following the accident. Ventilation has returned to around 200 meters of the damaged part of the tunnel. Italian Deputy Prime, Minister, Deputy Prime Minister called for a new European group which has no leanings towards the left or the right. Along with Prime Minister Conte and founder of the Five Star Movement, Beppe Grillo, he addressed thousands of supporters in central Rome at a rally of their movement. Diamao said that the Five Star Movement must be created, must create a European group that focuses less on banks and more on people. Crowds attended a Paris protest to denounce assaults on lesbian, gay, bisexual and transgender people after a series of high-profile incidents which have rattled the NGOs and worried politicians. An NGO is calling on the government to launch an anti-homophobia campaign and to offer training to policemen on how to deal with the victims. NGOs are particularly anxious as Parliament prepares to debate a possible law change that would allow lesbians access to fertility treatment currently only open to straight couples. A Bolivian university graduation ceremony went from joy to terror in an instant when the floor of a room full of graduates collapsed. Dramatic images show the hole created after the floor gave way and people can be seen attempting to pull victims out of the 4 by 3 meter void. According to local media, 10 people were injured when they fell through the floor. All were taken to local medical facilities. India will sign its first security cooperation agreement with China. The pact focuses on terrorism, narcotics, human trafficking, intelligence sharing and disaster management will be signed between China's Minister of Public Security and Union Home Minister Rajnath Singh. This agreement is unprecedented for both bilateral relations. India so far has no such agreement with any other nation. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi commemorated the 75th anniversary of nationalist Azad Hind or the Free India Government founded by iconic freedom fighter Subhash Chandra Bose. The event was attended by Bose's great-grandnephew Chandra Kumar Bose and a veteran of Bose's nationalist Indian National Army. At the event, Modi also unveiled a flag which, is, which will be placed at the bar barrack number 3 at the 17th century Mughal monument, Red Fort where uh, members of the Azad Hind Forge faced trial by the British. A museum will also be set up in the barrack. Punjab police soldiers suffered injuries after angry protesters clashed with police and resorted to stone pelting in India's Amritsar. Hundreds of local residents have been protesting by blocking railway tracks over dem demands of compensation for the family of the deceased and free treatment for those who were injured in the train accident on the Friday night. Head constable of Punjab police says that after police tried to remove the protesters from the track, they started pelting stones and many soldiers suffered injuries in the clash. <laughs> In a shocking incident that rocked India's national capital region, the bodies of four siblings were found hanging inside the apartment in northern Faridabad city. According to the police, they had committed suicide and a note was recovered from them where they blamed parents' death for the drastic step. The note also alludes to financial instability. However, an investigation is still underway. The air quality level in the Indian capital city of New Delhi hit the very poor category over the weekend. New Delhi was engulfed in haze and smoke. This was the result of the burning of the Ravana effigies, which is a part of the celebrations 
coupled with the stubble burning in North Indian states of Punjab and Haryana, the low wind speed is uh, in New Delhi has also contributed to the condition. Experts say that air quality index may worsen over the next couple of days. Sheep replaced the usual traffic as shepherds steered hundreds of animals through the Spanish capital to proclaim their right to use ancient migration routes. Every year since 1994, sheep farmers have paraded the livestock through the city while on their way to graze in winter pastures in southern Spain. Sheep farmers pay a symbolic charge per 1,000 sheep brought through Madrid.